Good evening, Your Royal Highness, Excellencies, Stockholm Junior Water Prize finalists, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Xylem employees all around the world, I am so honored to be with you tonight, and I want to congratulate this year's winners of the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. What an extraordinary accomplishment. I would also like to recognize all of this year's participants. You represent the very best in scientific innovation and ingenuity among your generation. You are leaders and pioneers, and all of you deserve to be commended. Tonight, Tonight is all about you, and we are all honored to be in your company, the company of the best. I've had the great fortune of being associated with the Stockholm Junior Water Prize competition for five years now, through my work at ITT, the former parent company of Xylem, and today as a member of the Xylem team. Between the two companies, we have sponsored this event for all 16 years. When I was asked to represent my company here tonight, I was deeply honored and excited. Then I remembered the extraordinary audience of people I would be addressing, from Her Royal Highness, to the chairman of a leading Swedish communications agency, to a renowned expert in science communications, to more than 50 of the smartest and talented teenagers in the world today. How do you say no pressure in Swedish? Tonight, I would like to take a few minutes to talk about what makes this event so very special and what makes the accomplishments of the students here this evening so spectacular. Through your hard work and innovation, you are helping advance the world's knowledge of water, how to protect it, and how to harness its incredible possibilities. You are also helping your local communities by identifying water issues in the areas where you live and developing new approaches to overcome these challenges. And you are helping the larger global community because many of the ideas generated by this competition have the potential to be applied in the real world, driving progress in other countries and even other continents. Think about it. You are scientific pioneers. You're entrepreneurs. You're social advocates. You're change agents. And you're still just teenagers. Simply amazing. You are an inspiration to us all. And your timing could not be better. Consider, nearly one billion people, or one out of seven people on the planet, lack access to safe water supplies. Every day, nearly 4,000 children die of waterborne illnesses, according to UNICEF. And that is the second leading cause of preventable childhood deaths in the world. And while we have an abundant supply of water on Earth, less than 1% is available for human use. And that 1% is becoming increasingly polluted. In addition, water infrastructure needs are huge. In the developed world, the existing systems are aging. And in the developing world, the infrastructure still needs to be built. In both cases, there is a critical lack of funding. Water, managing it, protecting it, distributing it, is a tremendous global need. It's a need that will continue to grow. It's a need that we must find a way to fill. We can do better. We must do better. And that's where all of you can make a difference. It's where all of you are already making a difference. 
Tonight, you become part of a powerful legacy. Past winners and participants in the Stockholm Junior Water Prize have gone on to make important and lasting impact. In 2003, Claire Reed of South Africa won for developing an innovative and practical system for planting and germinating seeds in water-scarce areas to help low-income communities. Claire went on to build an entire business around this approach, and last year, she won a significant grant from a major South African corporation. Her innovation has been implemented in a number of communities in South Africa, and there are plans in the works to expand. Ashley Mulroy of the United States won in 2000 for her research on antibiotic contamination in American waterways. Her work received coverage from major media outlets in the U.S. and around the world and helped refocus awareness on this critical issue. And participants in the Stockholm Junior Water Prize have also gone on to significant personal success as well. For example, in 2006, Wang Giya of China won with two other schoolmates. He now works for a major power corporation in China, and he was selected to join China's 1,000 environmentally friendly ambassadors youth campaign. Another great success story, the 2010 winners from Canada, Danny Luong and Alexandru Alar. They were recently named to a list of the top 15 Canadians under the age of 25 by a leading Canadian magazine. These stories show the importance and relevance of your work, and they show how your ideas and your input can make a lasting difference. The community of people working on water issues and affected by water issues needs your help. Your intellectual curiosity and enthusiasm, your awareness and ability to identify water challenges in your own local communities, your talent, fresh perspective, and command of new technologies in developing new approaches, your energy and determination to keep pushing until you find a solution that works. The water community needs you. The world needs you. The company that I work for, Xylem, has been addressing water issues for many years, first as part of our former parent company, ITT, and more recently as Xylem, an independent company focused solely on water. In building our new company, we had to create a brand new foundation from our focus and priorities to our vision and values to our name. This work required that we reconsider what we do and what our goals are as a water technology company. What does the world need when it comes to water? What can we provide? What are the possibilities? We chose the name Xylem because it represents a fundamental force that drives water. It is literally the tissue in plants that moves water from the roots up the stem to the leaves. It is a constant and powerful source of energy and life. While we are a company solely focused on water, with dedicated people all over the world who have devoted their lives to water issues, we know that the solutions the world needs will require looking beyond our company. We need the best thinking from across the industry, from outside the industry, from business and academia, from the public sector and the private sector, from the developed world and the developing world, to ensure that everyone has access to clean, safe water. Our tagline, which appears along with our Xylem brand, speaks to what we want to do. It speaks to what we literally must do to ensure the future of our planet. These three small words capture it all. Let's solve water. As part of my job, in addition to communications, I oversee Xylem's corporate citizenship and social investment program, Xylem Watermark, which was created to provide and protect safe water resources in communities around the world. When I was preparing for tonight's event, one story from our Watermark program came to mind. Our Watermark team was working in a village in West Bengal, India. 
The local drinking water that supplied the homes and school in the area was contaminated with arsenic. But the people living in the village were not aware of it. Together with our partner, Water for People, we installed arsenic removal filters, providing a source of clean and safe water to the community for the first time in a very long time. I was reminded of this story because when we were there, we spoke with a young woman about your age. Her name was Pampa Sarkar. At the time, she was 15 years old, and she lived in the village and attended the local school. Her words about our work continue to stay with me. She said, on my first sip, I recognized the difference between this clean water and the contaminated water I used to drink. She went on to say that because of the water improvement project, she feels she now has a, quote, longer, better life in front of me. That is what our work can do. That is what everyone who works on water issues can do. We can help people to live longer, better lives. And that is pretty amazing. There's so much at stake, and there's never been a more exciting or more important time to work on water challenges. If we work hard and we work smart, and if we harness the talent and ingenuity of your generation, I think there is absolutely no limit to what we will accomplish. So I end my remarks where I began, with congratulations and with thanks. Not just for what you have achieved that has brought you here tonight, although that is exceptional. Instead, along with everyone else in the audience here tonight, I want to thank you and congratulate you in advance for what I know you can do and what I am absolutely positively confident that you will do when we leave here at the end of World Water Week 2012. So on behalf of the 12,500 Xylem employees who are dedicated to the issue of water 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we ask you to join us. Let's work together. With your help, I know we can do it. Let's solve water. Thank you very much.